This is a recording of our playbook. Download the playbook, configuration spreadsheet, and ABA lab environment from our website. Welcome to our whiteboard drawing, Enterprise 20 Dial Plan Build, Outgoing Digit Manipulation. In this drawing, we'll look at digit manipulation for external dialing. For an overview of the Enterprise 20 Dial Plan Build, see our drawing, Dial Plan Build Overview. Remember our objectives for the Dial Plan from the discussion in Dial Plan Overview. In this drawing, we focus on the second objective. Dialing external numbers at work is just like dialing from any other phone except user 9. See Dial Plan End User Training for a look at this from the end user perspective. Outgoing digit manipulation is about two things. We need the right number to ring. We need the called party to see the correct caller ID so they can easily return the call. There are three options for outgoing digit manipulation. The first one is basic. We won't worry about features like tail end hop off, AAR, and CFER, or mobility issues like speed dials or call lists for roaming users. Number two, Pick low-hanging fruit. Do the easy stuff that gets much of TIHO, AAR, and CFER working, and some speed dials and entries in call lists that wouldn't otherwise. Number three, go all out. Every feature will work everywhere and all the time. You need E.164 for this. You'll never get everything to work all the time, no matter what you do. We'll look at E.164 later. Enterprise 20 chose option 2, pick low-hanging fruit. A grizzled old PBX veteran gave us good advice a long time ago. Only give users the features they need. Don't give them anything else. Start simple, get it working, add features later. We consider digit manipulation to be part of the dial plan hierarchy. Remember the dial plan hierarchy from our background drawing? We have route patterns that point to route lists, that point to route groups, that point to gateways or trunks. The CUCM can do outgoing digit manipulation on the route pattern, for each route group in a route list, and on the gateway or trunk. Never do digit manipulation on the route pattern. We always advised against this. Digit manipulation has most commonly been done in the route list for each route group. Digit manipulation is the same for all gateways used by the route list. But with local route groups, we could exit from any gateway in the enterprise. The same digit manipulation can't be used for all gateways in the enterprise. So, no digit manipulation in a route list with the local route group. There are cases where digit manipulation could be done in the route list but not for external routing using local route groups. We'll use global transformations for our external dial plan. Use global transformations for your external dial plan to facilitate deployment of features like TIHO, AAR, CFER and mobility, even if you don't need those features right away. Global transformations are not just for E.164. Global transformations are done on the gateway in CUCM via the gateway or gateway device pool. We apply a calling search space with partitions containing transformation patterns. Different gateways can have different transformations. This makes more sense and makes for easier deployment of features like TIHO, AAR, CFER, and mobility. We'll show you how. E.164 uses global transformations, so deploying them now makes going to E.164 easier. We'll also look at how we can incorporate E.164 trunks into our dial plan. There are called and calling party transformations. Each has a pattern definition, and if the pattern matches, transformations to apply. This is a called party transformation. Global transformations are activated using calling search spaces applied to gateways and trunks. 
Enterprise 20 applies these calling search spaces via gateway and trunk device pools. We include an X in the name of these calling search spaces to indicate that they are transformation calling search spaces. Global transformations are in partitions. We include an X in the name of these partitions to indicate that they are transformation partitions. Global transformations have a pattern. Match the pattern and the CUCM will do the digit manipulation. If the called or calling party number, depending on the kind of transformation, matches the pattern definition, then the CUCM will do the digit manipulation. The transformations identify the digit manipulation we need to do. The digit manipulation has the familiar fields, discard digits, transformation mask, prefix digits, and number type. Calling party transformations have the use calling party's external phone number mask checkbox. Let's look at calling party numbers first. Let's get the caller ID right. Remember our internal dial plan for Enterprise 20. We have the lines configured with the access code plus the site code plus the extension. We have 10 digit numbers configured for the external phone number masks. If we don't do anything, then caller ID will look like this. No one will be able to return our calls. Here are some options. The simplest solution is 10 digit caller ID is fine for all calls everywhere. We may want to set ISDN type of number on some gateways or trunks. We may have a SIP trunk or other gateway using E.164. Always look at the simplest option first. 10 digit caller ID is fine for all calls everywhere. This is easy to configure. Just apply the external phone number mask everywhere. 10 To apply the external phone number mask, use the pattern exclamation mark and check the use calling party's external phone number mask checkbox. Put the pattern in the calling X apply external mask partition and put that partition in a calling X apply external mask calling search space. We'll talk about applying the calling search space to the gateways and trunks later in the drawing. This is what the global transformation looks like. This is the calling search space. We use the exclamation pattern because we'll do this for all calls exiting the gateway or trunk. This table is from the calling party transformations tab in the initial dial plan configuration spreadsheet. Enterprise 20 deploys this basic calling party transformation to use where necessary, as much as possible. Use the calling X apply external mask calling search space anywhere that sending 10 digit caller ID to the PSTN works. This works in many cases. Many SIP trunks work this way. Or as a first step, if you don't know what else to do or plan on testing the gateway or trunk behavior later. This may be good enough. You may not need to do anything else for your deployment. We may want to set the calling party type of number to national or subscriber for ISDN gateways. For the first case, use the pattern exclamation. Check the use calling party's external phone number mask checkbox. Set the calling party type of number to national. Put the pattern in the calling X type of number national partition and put that partition in a calling X type of number national calling search space. This is what the global transformation looks like. This is the calling search space. We use the exclamation pattern because we'll do this for all calls exiting the gateway or trunk. Use the calling X type of number national calling search space. If your gateway or trunk supports ISDN type of number and the service provider can receive local 10 digit caller ID flagged as national. If your service provider can always send and receive local numbers as 10 digit national numbers, then many things are easier. We'll talk about this in a later drawing. If we want to set the calling party type of number to subscriber for ISDN gateways, use the pattern exclamation. Check the use calling party's external phone number mask checkbox. 
Set the calling party type of number to subscriber. If your service provider wants to see seven digit subscriber numbers, then apply the mask XXX, XXXX. Put the pattern in the calling X type of number subscriber partition and put that partition in a calling X type of number subscriber calling search space. This is what the global transformation looks like. This is the calling search space. We use the exclamation pattern because we'll do this for all calls exiting the gateway or trunk. Use the calling X type of number subscriber calling search space. If your gateway or trunk supports ISDN type of number and expects to receive local caller ID flagged as subscriber. This table is from the calling party transformations tab in the initial dial plan configuration spreadsheet. Enterprise 20 deploys these ISDN calling party transformations to use where necessary. What if we have a trunk using E.164 addressing and we're not using E.164 in our dial plan? No problem. Use the pattern exclamation. Check the use calling party's external phone number mask checkbox. Prefix plus one. Put the pattern in the calling X E164 partition. Put that partition in a calling X E164 calling search space. It's always better to use E.164 on trunks to the PSTN. This is what the global transformation looks like. This is the calling search space. We use the exclamation pattern because we'll do this for all calls exiting the gateway or trunk. Use the calling X E164 calling search space if your gateway or trunk uses E.164 addressing. Connecting a non-E.164 dial plan to E.164 trunks turns out to be surprisingly easy. We recommend using E.164 addressing on gateways or trunks wherever possible. Enterprise 20 deploys these calling party transformations to use where necessary. Start by using calling X apply external mask calling search space everywhere. Use the other transformations as necessary. You need to know how your PSTN trunks and gateways work. If you don't know, then use calling X apply external mask calling search space until you can figure it out. What about calls exiting the Toronto gateway sourced from Hamilton and Winnipeg site phones? This happens if we implement tail end hop off at the Toronto site, or if users from Hamilton or Winnipeg log into the Toronto site using extension mobility or roam there with CIPC, for example. What about calls exiting the Toronto gateway sourced from outside North America? This happens if we implement tail end hop off at the Toronto site or cross-cluster extension mobility. We'll look at these issues in a later drawing. Low-hanging fruit, tail end hop-off, mobility, and presence. Stay tuned for part two, Enterprise 20 dial plan build, outgoing digit manipulation. Thanks for watching.